We fought this evil war for 30 months. Why are we still fighting Boko Haram for 15 years? Usman Yusuf speaks. My dear, if you ask me now, who you want to make I ask? You need a detail, please. In a video shared by Trust TV from Trust TV, Prof. Usman Yusuf, former executive, ex executive secretary of the National Health Insurance Scheme, NHIS, raised a critical question he would pose to himself and the Nigeria's military's chiefs if he were president. Why did Nigeria manage to conclude the civil war in 30 months, but continues to come back to Boko Haram for over 15 years? Expanding on his point in the video, he highlighted that despite lacking the advanced military equipment possessed by the Nigerian military, these bandits have engaged in conflict for over nine years. He emphasized that they rely solely on motorcycles and AK-47s, with some of these become being makeshift, yet the military has tried has struggled to contain them. According to him, this is not just a military problem and it can never be won on the battlefield. Conflicts like that have never been won on the battlefield. If I'm the president, I'll ask myself. Nigeria fought the civil war in 30 months. With all the guns, all the help and the tanks, and the civil war lasted 30 months. But we have been fighting this banditry for nine years. Why? If I'm the president, this is what I will ask. I will ask all my military chiefs. We fought the civil war for 30 months. Where are we still fighting Boko Haram for 15 years? Where are we still fighting banditry for nine years? Who are the bandits? You've seen them. They don't have tanks. They don't have drones. They're on their motorcycles with AK-47. And some of them are homemade. Therefore, who can they supply them? It's a very good question. Who they supply them? Who they give them the morale? What they make these people, they come outside, they do as they want. Hmm? Hmm. Okay. Now for my mass nine and one year number, just wait. There was a time federal government came outside and told us. They have found the financiers of terrorism. They have found the financiers of terrorism. Their list will come aside. Nigeria, our ear can't stand like elf ear. Some people can't amplify their ear, clean their eardrum away, come out all the wax with the incense, and they will catch everything we government they took. And we can't they anticipate say they will drag these people. Maybe they will just sentence them to death by firing squad or by ejection. Now see, see it's insane. Now see me, I, now see me, I stand that wait for. We don't hear anything. You know. Even Dubai come and say, come tell us, say, eh, say, see you. It's what's in the airport. Say our, some people, no, they come talk about terrorism that time. Come they sing and say, it gets people where they involved. Like say they don't want to talk, like say they want to talk. Because they are the wit. Those people are not the real people. The people they are fighting are not the real people. The real people are people where they give these people money for guns. So then say it's a lie. She has to go use Zuma. Nigeria army, they don't, I don't hear anything from my, from my informant waiting for Nigeria army. They don't talk, say they will come from this place. So come from the other place. Now the people now see now people they remote them, now be the problem. But they find people where we say they control them. Take those people out. Just like if they play chess game. Once you come out queen, ah, we can remain for the chess game. Once you come out the queen, where they protect, we mount. Once you come up where they remote these people, everywhere go soft. Two go then go mellow down, then go come down. But no government they they dance kill you. Why this thing they happen? They are so engulfed in uh, I want that fifteen billion. Say you enter my account. Have you sent have you wired the money? Have you done this? Uh -huh. That ten million they run call and uh -huh. give me my souvenir. That is what they're interested in. Uh -huh. Have you given us? When is the vehicle coming in? Okay, okay. Uh -huh. That is what they are interested in. But it matter what concern me and you. So the matter will go away, my dear. Never. It can never happen. This is the stopping star. I recollect a visionary and powerful leader, General Sanya Bacha, said, any, any uprising that lasts more than 48 hours, there is government hands in it. Now I can ask, I want to make a tell you, Nana. Okay. 
most especially during civilian regime where they used that to make themselves from the masses treasures and blood the thing is Allah ya sakamana and inshallah they will die the same way like shika my dear you see how this morning they talk muslim christian traditionalist god go you shango see it don't it don't time don't pass this is not a matter of just like things happening in our country god will help god will do this one god will punish is no this same way they talk time don't pass now this god will punish now keep us for beer now we day today god will judge god will do this one my own be see you don't wish time you could say enough is enough we are, we are supposed to learn how to tackle issues not leaving it to god god don't produce us give us brain give us sense we will use tackle issues if issue come outside for government then we will do it and wait on god then we will tackle it now so other government they do go other world leaders are so then they do if something wrong now what happened for china said then we will think find solution then the eyes were not open, but this book around Ramban, these were some stories. Well, it is a political will, religion ethics, very, very and full learning, and how some books, this fight will continue forever. Because if they not turn out, do not know what they belong. Some of them are original Nigeria, where some are foreign Nigeria mix of people. That is why it can never end. You see, evil of evils, they know themselves and they are wise. But full learning and how they don't know where they belong, I still blame the British colony. Okay. Buhari created Boko Haram and terrorists and sponsored them. Because some northern elders are finding it. Neither business with us now. See how much credit will they make from the business. With our body. Every month the federal government they give their one particular amount of money for insecurity. They're not fighting, they will catch them and release them. Whether Azubike was the chief of army staff, he fought them to a stance, but you even Northern has begun to fight him, talking about genocide. He was removed. If you want Bukhara to end the activities, give an evil man this chief of army staff to manage. My dad will buy the evil man. Do it by giving the evil man. Then go buy him. Or then go come up. Find out the people who are behind it and take those people out. Even if those pe that person are the president, take them out. That is the only way banditry, terrorism, and anything, even these farmer had clashes. Anybody do you commit, make the person collect. By the time your head roll, people see as your head you roll come off of your body. Or they inject you, you die by poison. Or on a firing squad. Uh -uh. Everybody head go correct. Then catch you, then send you there, then catch you, then mother you, then catch you, then send you to your maker. Uh -uh. Your family member said, well, they follow you, they enjoy your terrorism money. Then they go tell you, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I beg not to. You want more tea if you don't write on this note, you have come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest.